Hello everyone. Okay, so I have good news for everyone, <laughs> especially for me. I got a letter from the clinic today and I was reading over and over again. And it's really funny because they put a cast over my feet and this was the main problem why I didn't want in the beginning to come to go to the emergency department. It's like I don't want to be in the cast, I don't want to miss my work, I don't need all these troubles. But yeah, the manager sent me to the emergency department, I went to the emergency, they put me on the cast because they said my um, bone is fractured, however, the other bones around it are very stable, so I can easily step like on my full feet, but it's in pain, that's one thing, which I already knew and the nurse already told me in the emergency department, um, yeah, the thing is, so yeah, this is the funny part. They put me in the cast and they told me not to step on it. Not to step. Until next Monday, I mean this Monday, when I'm going to the fracture clinic and they have to redo the x-rays to see if in this period it's like anything changed, if it's better or worse or something. Obviously, I didn't step only on my right feet because my right feet was a swell hurt and swollen and bru with bruises. So obviously, I couldn't work only on that one. So I was using both of my legs slowly, slowly. Now, it's saying here in this letter, I was reading over and over again today. So it's saying this is the final report actually and it's saying after the um, uh, Monday when I'm gonna have the fracture clinic appointment after that they will not do anything until the sixth week when most probably my um, uh, GP is gonna contact me for an appointment to see how I'm improving. Because it's saying it should take like the pain should go like in between six and eight weeks. I should still have pain, I should still have swollen legs or bruises or whatever. But still, it's saying in the patient information, and I'm reading, I'm sorry to hear that you injured your ankle recently. The x-rays that you had in the emergency department have been reviewed by an uh, orthopedic consultant and they show that they have uh, that there is a fracture in your ankle on the lateral uh, malus, ma maleolus, however you call it. However, this is a stable injury in the majority of the cases um, and usually goes on to heal without the need for surgery. The fracture does not need to, me, to be immola, immobilized. <laughs> I'm English. So it's saying the fracture does not need to be immobilized in a plaster cast. And I have a plaster cast. So it's not actually need to, to be to have it. It's saying there will have uh, been some ligament and muscles that damage like a severed sprain as well as the fracture which will also take time to heal but even though it is painful your ankle is safe to work on straight away <laughs> the, your ankle is safe to work on straight away and they told me from beginning not to work on it, not to work on it. I'm gonna dim damage it. <laughs> Let's continue. Wearing a pro uh, protective boot may help you to mobilize and work more comfort comfortably. I didn't go the boot, but yeah, anyway. But you don't have to wear it if you don't feel to heal properly. Stable ankle fracture do not require any further x-rays and so we will not arrange any further orthopedic follow-up for you after that first appointment. We accept your ankle 
uh, will settle down over a course of six to eight weeks but there will be some residential swelling that often lasts for, mo for many months before going down completely yeah but it's keep amazing me when it's saying the fracture does not need to be immobilized in a plaster cast gosh I want to read this but it's more important <laughs> so I'm keep thinking from the morning when I've seen this um, letter and keep thinking should I cut it off should I not cut it off should I take it because it's actually really painful so it's happening already f from last week for like five na five days already or so um, I don't know I think my uh, uh, this one my ankle it's swollen up and it's touching every time it's touching the cast it hurts me as hell I have to take uh, two painkillers one time to to stop the pain to literally stop the pain because I'm like panicking in the same time and it hurts me as well and it's it's just crazy and I don't know I was thinking cuz ah uh, it's it's really crazy I want to cut it off because the thing is I, I can actually do it I can actually do it with the scissor I think I have here a scissor so what's happening is that um, so the cast up front it's um, it's not hard so you can easily cut it off but I don't know should I cut it? Should I not cut it? Okay, so this is I can cut it off this and I think I can cut it easily this one off as well. Should I try it? I have here a scissor. It's not a big scissor. It's a small one. Should I try it a little bit? Yes, it cuts. Most probably I'm gonna cut it off here. Yeah. Let me cut it off. Cause it's stable anyway. It's stable anyway. Okay, so I cut the first lay layer and I have to cut it off as well. Mm, gosh, I hate it. Okay, so I have only this. This is the hardest part to cut. Uh, it's crazy. I'm trying. It's actually it's flexible to cut, but I don't know why it's so hard to cut it. Looks like it's swollen up. And uh, no, no, no. Let's see how it's actually here because this this part is hurting me a lot. So yeah, I really need to put ice on it to clean it up, to do like, yeah, it's full of dust, full of white thing from the cast. So I can't stay like this. I need to take a shower ready to, to clean up this mess. So yeah, let's try again. Okay, so I finally cut it off. Uh, full of crazy things here. Uh, let's try open it up okay. this is, uh, I don't want to hurt it anymore this it's stuck it's hard in that side oh gosh okay got it out uh actually it's no bruises ouch Okay, I just have here a bruise that it's swollen. Here is just a bit swollen. Here is definitely swollen. Uh, this side is fine. Just a little bit here, but that's all. Okay. So I finally got it out from the... Okay, here it... This part, it was hurting me a lot. Now let's see. 
as I was working actually a little bit I'm here and the crotches are there so I was working for a few minutes without the crutches and I can walk but yeah okay looks like something is there I can't see it properly uh, what here uh, okay so it looks like I'm hurt there also Here, here, here it hurts. It looks like here was too much uh, pressing, and it just felt like oval. <laughs> so yeah, it was actually hurting me as hell. So yeah, let's see. I'm gonna take a shower and come back. Like hopefully it's gonna be alright. <laughs> 